So the trade is done. John Wall is officially a Houston Rocket. We'll talk about that more in another video. But for right now, I want to focus on the other half of that trade. Russell Westbrook to Washington Wizard. Man, I'm talking to Wizard fans on social media. They're not happy about this. At least the ones I'm talking to. And obviously, there are other fans out there. But the general consensus I'm getting from Wizard fans is, yo, we waited until John Wall got healthy to now trade him? Like, we want to trade him now. I think Wizard fans would have at least liked to see John Wall dug in one last... I can't believe I just did that. Dug in one last time in, in that Wizards uniform to see what we got. Like, let's see where the brother's at with it a year and a half removed since the last time he put that Wizards uniform on. And, and you know, there's a real emotional attachment to John Wall. He's done a lot in that D.C. area. They're really hurt over this one, man. This is a... Uh, a big time shakeup as Russell Westbrook apparently wanted to be in DC. Man, this is not going over well tonight. Uh, Michael Lee, a reporter for the Washington Post, he tweeted out just hours ago that someone close to Russell Westbrook told him that Russ reportedly wanted to be traded to DC. He's excited about teaming back up with his former head coach. Remember, Scott Brooks was the uh, first coach the Oklahoma City Thunder had. And now he's the coach in Washington. Scott will, man, you know, God bless Scott Brooks. He's going to get Russell Westbrook back. Uh, and you got Bradley Bill still there. That's one bright spot. You still got Bradley Bill. So we will see what comes out of this Westbrook Bill link up. You know what? I'm going to say this to Washington Wizard fans. Because you've been without John Wall for the last two years, I promise you you're going to really like Westbrook. I didn't say you'll love him. I promise you, you will like him. There are some things about Westbrook that John Wall just unfortunately was not giving you over the last couple of years. And I get it. Like, all things considered, I'd rather have John Wall, right? But Russell Westbrook's going to be there. And mentally and physically, John Wall just had not been there for the Wizards. I'm not mad at them. Bradley Bill was very upset. Now, I don't have a lot of sympathy for Bradley Bill because on this platform, again, we told Bradley, why would you sign an extension? Don't sign an extension. Remember, Bradley Bill, this would have been the last year of his deal right here. He will be a free agent with Giannis next summer or next offseason whenever it does happen. So, I mean, Im imagine if Bradley Bill wanted John Wall there, you, you got to believe Bradley Bill could have called that shot if he were a free agent to be. Now, I got to believe Bradley Bill maybe still signed off on this deal or wasn't against it because the GM Tommy Shepard just came out two weeks ago and said, Bradley Bill is the face of our franchise. So I got to believe maybe Bradley Bill was at least uh, warned about this deal, but was he thoroughly asked about this one? Because from what I see from Russell Westbrook, and I've been saying this on my platform for years now, Guys love speaking highly about Russell Westbrook, but from a distance, right? Yeah, you listen to any, any star around the league. Yeah, Russell Westbrook's a great guy, man. Anybody that's a, a teammate of Russell Westbrook, you, you'd be a happy guy. It's a, pr a privilege to play with a guy like that. Okay, when you got the chance to play with Russell Westbrook, do you? Do you? Did you ever want to join him in OKC? OKC? Nah. Could you have seen yourself playing with him in Houston? Nah. Do you want to go down to the nation's capital and play with him right now? No, you don't. It's because you know, like we all know, as great as Russell Westbrook is, what makes him so great is the fact that every time somebody's told him you can't do this, he goes and does it anyway. As a 15-year-old kid, you're damn right that can help him get to college. As an 18-year-old, you're damn right that mentality can help him be a top five pick in the NBA draft. As, at 21, 22, you're damn right that mentality can help him be a 25-point-per-game scorer. At 26, 27, that mentality can get problematic. Later down the line, that mentality can lead to Kevin Durant leaving your team. Later down the line, that can lead to you and James Harden clearly not seeing eye to eye, even though y'all friends off the court. It doesn't seem like James Harden's upset that Russ is not going to be there uh, next year. Matter of fact, he was trying to get up out of there. If not, Russ, get out. 
And now that's what leads you to Washington. The reality is if Russell Westbrook wants to end his career as a guy known for not listening, he can do that. Look, Allen Iverson is loved by many. We love Allen Iverson. But ask them guys in that era, who, ask them if they want to play with him. It's the same thing all over again. People love Russell Westbrook from afar. D.C., they're not happy right now about having Russell Westbrook over John Wall. And like I said, I think it's the timing. If you're going to trade John Wall while he's injured, okay, would you get the return on the dollar then? Probably not. But to wait till this man is healthy, and he looks great in some of the video that I've seen, to just give him away to Houston for Russ, and we know Russ wanted out, man, that's interesting. That one is, uh, th that, that, those type of decisions are the ones that cost people their jobs. You're one Bradley Bill trade request away from everybody in that building being fired. That is the truth.